Good day YouTube, Stormy Ascent is back yet again for another part of Let's Play WWF Warzone. This is part number 9 I believe and in this part we are going to face Kane for the Intercontinental Championship and of course my game is lagging as it always does. Right, two times, yeah, there we go. I think that sorted it out. So, yeah, so I don't, don't know if we get a promo from Kane beforehand or anything. Uh, all of his promos consist of him just like looking at you weirdly and um, just like posing and shit so yeah not much to say about that um i don't know if this takes place in the custom arena or if it's just in the uh, wwf uh raw is war arena uh yeah it is so someone was commenting about that actually um on the first part and of course there we go right that that's better yeah someone was commenting saying that um they saw a preview of this game in um uh, some magazine and uh it had the uh, wwf in your house arena uh, in it, but then they cut that out of the final game, and I know that this game, I think it did go up through like a fair amount of changes uh, from its developmental stage, because it was originally supposed to be called WWF 98, which personally I thought would have been a better name for it, but there you go. Uh, they changed it to Warzone because I think they wanted to go with the gimmick of it being like kind of like a Warzone or something, so I don't know, but they might have been uh, rushed or something like that, because the, like the release state of the game, and um... And like the characters or rather the wrestlers who are in it, they really like don't they really conflict because as as I said, Bret Hart is in the game, but he had he was well gone from the company by the time it was released. So I don't know if if it were delayed or not, but yeah, um, or it could have been intended to be released in um, 1997, but with the name of WWF 98. But I don't know. Um, that's obviously up for debate, and I don't know anyone from Acclaim or anyone who worked for them uh, during that time period. But yeah, um, I guess it could have been like a completely different game in that regard. So yeah, it's interesting to note. And uh, I almost got up before he performed that submission. But yeah, um, Kane was always. Probably my favorite wrestler, I gotta say. Just, uh, I always like, you know, the mysterious kind of dark guys. Like, I, I liked Raven when he was in the uh, WWE. Even if, even though he was a um, freaking heel, I always liked Raven because I thought he was cool. So, yeah, and I liked Kane, I liked The Undertaker, even though he wasn't in his dead man uh, gimmick. Or, yeah, like, yeah, his dead man uh, gimmick. He was like a biker. I still liked him, but I would have liked him more if he had been in, like, the dead man gimmick, I guess. But there you go. But, um, yeah, I liked him. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other, like, kind of dark type wrestler. I, I guess uh, Goldust was probably... That's probably how he appeared to me, which is probably why I liked him in the first place. So, yeah. Uh, but I didn't realize he was kind of like a... I guess... <laughs> I don't know how to describe what Goldust's character was like, really. He was just very uh, in interesting, let's say. But, yeah, okay. Now we're uh, really dominating this one so far. But, yeah, the only combination I can remember is the Wishbone Stretch, and that's about it. So, there you go. Uh, but okay, spinning wheel kick, and uh, yeah, we're starting to take control of the match here, and we don't want to, um, win by countdown, because we won't win the title that way. I'm not sure if, if that's actually, in, like, in this game, like, you know, if you, um, well, let's see, if you, like, um, win, like, a title match by disqualification or countdown, then it doesn't count as an actual uh, title win. I'm not sure if they actually have that, but, yeah, okay, we've got a key lock, um, in here now, and they called it an arm wrench in the move list, but that's like, uh, yeah, a key lock is what I'd call that. But I don't know. Um, I guess um, someone will come out like with some kind of random Japanese name for the move, and then that's supposed to be like the proper name since it's Japanese, you know, and all that. So, yeah, only joking, but there you go. <laughs> right, so uh, we're in yellow health now, so we're doing well. Um, I, as I think I mentioned before, they're like two uh let's plays of this game on youtube that i know of and, and like one of them the guy makes fun of bret hart's stroke and like that's really distasteful i mean like seriously i i think that like some it's just like whenever i let's play i mean not when i first started out but after a while like, i kind of started to realize that i should really watch what i say and rightfully so like i can still be like opinionated if i want to but you know i, I wouldn't do something like that i think it's really dim for that guy to have actually like like it's not just like in poor taste and just like a bad thing to do in general but like a really stupid thing to say i mean like why would you do something like that make fun of the guy's stroke like really that's just really low so yeah if you're watching whoever the hell that was i can't remember your username but yeah that was really low i know that you 
you uploaded over like freaking 5,000 videos, so I don't know, you must... <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> you shouldn't really attack anyone else's stuff this game, I should really be talking about what I'm doing, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm really kicking ass right now, so what can I say, but okay, Hurricane Rana, that's another combination that I remembered at least. And, um, yeah, I did- I, I forgot to point out that I did the, uh, Swanton Bomb. <laughs> I'm sure everyone will love me calling it that, when it should really be, um, I guess just a sent on spot, but, yeah, um, I, I didn't even point it out when I did it, but there you go, but, yeah, I- I would hard never use that move, from what I know, but they just gave it to him in this game. But, uh, yeah, uh, he did use the missile drop kick quite a lot, and sometimes he would revert it into a front drop kick, and then he'd, like, do a kip up immediately after it, which I thought was a pretty cool spot, uh, to do. So, yeah, and, um, speaking of missile drop kick, let me attempt it now. So, right, uh, I don't know if you're able to do any moves from when you're, like, behind like that, but, yeah, I don't think you can, but okay. Missile drop kick, that's it. They call it a t torpedo drop kick, but it's missile drop kick is, like, the real name, and... Yeah, I don't think Owen Hart can actually do a shooting star press. I was completely incorrect there, so yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> All right, so I, I just built that up for nothing. So there you go. I apologize deeply for that one. <laughs> right, okay. All right, uh, now I'm kind of getting my ass kicked here, but he's in the red and I'm not, so it should be grand. It's the, the literal big red machine right now. Sorry for the pun, but yeah, okay. Good old... The, I, I, I swear, the small package is like becoming my finisher for this, but there you go. Small package! Alright, I can't count along because once again, I'm not listening to the game audio, but yeah, we're the Intercontinental Champion! <laughs> and then some random ring girl comes into the ring and like, <laughs> runs around with the title. <laughs> It looks so stupid, but yeah, at least they actually had a title in this game, unlike freaking uh, WWF Attitude, where they didn't even show the titles, but there you go. We are the IC champion, and now we'll get a, a little cutscene here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, but okay. <laughs> it's, I don't know why it's making me laugh. It's, <laughs> it's, it just looks funny to me. Oh my god. It's just such like, you know, like, shoddy graphics and it's like, you know, oh yeah, look, check out what we did. But yeah, I'll shut up now whilst she's talking. Hey, rookie. I love to watch you wrestle. I hope you keep winning. Why is she, why is she entering into like an abandoned warehouse? Like, seriously, what is wrong with you, woman? I, I don't know. Right, there you go. But right. We'll probably have about four more parts out of this one now because I I imagine that we're gonna have a, a grudge match to um do soon. So yeah, um, but that will be obviously in uh, whatever part it occurs. But yeah, in the next part anyway, we're gonna face Ahmed Johnson, and I've <laughs> got a lot to say about this guy because this guy is absolutely hilarious. So yeah, uh, until then, thank you for watching and bye bye.